Last week was great. And Ben, I mean, wow, he like did a really awesome job. I know everyone here thinks that I don't care and that I'm just focused on finding my person, but they're all wrong. Well, no, I still mostly just wanna do that, but my therapist thinks it would be great for me to win and use the prize money to do some traveling and self-discovery. Barbie's moving in and I believe she's trying something with Ben. It seems a little too friendly and maybe time for a new alliance. Most people would have given up by now, but not me, because this week, it's my week, and it's my week to be a champion. Kids, you'll never guess it, but mom won all the things. She did really good. Hope you're enjoying your van dogs. Make sure that you don't put in the one that smokes and catches on fire though, okay? Yeah, so week two was the first week of competitions, and I think I put you know my best in it, but Carol still gives me the creeps. I'm just saying, if I get kidnapped, it was Carol. Please send the police. Hello, and welcome to the third episode of The Great Invitation. Carol, what's going through your head after that big win? Oh, I don't know. I'm feeling good. I hope everyone's ready for a repeat of last week. That means me winning again. Yeah, we know that. Ben, how did it feel to be so close to victory yet so far away? Not great. And I won't even ask you two how you're feeling after losing last week. Um, that seemed unnecessary. Our contestants now have a second chance to prove that they have what it takes to accept the Great Invitation. Last week, we learned that the first step in the Great Commission is to get going. The Great Commission is a call to action. But the call isn't to just go. We are called to go and spread the gospel or the good news of Jesus Christ. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That means that when we go, we are representing God. Being a representative is a big deal, and our following three challenges are designed to prove it. So let's head into the party room. Remember, Ben, Eye of the Tiger. We got this. We got this. We're going to be champions. It's time to actually look around and think about another alliance. Oh, yeah. I told her I would be in an alliance. I still have no idea what that even means but she still thinks I have the immunity idol, so. Come on, it's a, it's a, no, no. Oh my goodness, it's a fist bump, it's a fist bump. Welcome back to the party room. As a reminder, we will have three rounds of competitions. In the event of a tie, a winner will be determined by a game of rock, paper, scissors. The winners from the first and second rounds will compete in the third round. The winner of our final competition will get an advantage to help them in one of next week's challenges. All of today's challenges are based on luck because instead of participating in them yourselves, you will have a representative hold up a balloon. All you can do is watch and hope that you are represented well. Our first competition is called 24. Each contestant will be represented by a board containing 24 balloons. One at a time, a competitor will try and pop all of your balloons by throwing 24 darts at them. The player with the most remaining balloons at the end wins. Carol, you will notice that your board has 30 balloons. Hopefully this advantage gets you one step closer to winning yet again. Three, two, one. So I take this fistful and shove them right at the balloons. Right, Carol? Carol, you just seem a little friendly, Carol. I am friendly, if that's I'm Carol. Your role, I am friendly, I'm Carol. Okay, I'm done with Carol. You know what my family calls me? No. The bullet. Oh, no. <laughs> Woo! That felt oh. good. That oh, felt my. good. Look at this, Carol. Woo! I'm alone. Oh, man, those, those, uh, those little guys were sharp in that challenge. That was crazy. So, Candy, those are called darts. Um, my name is Jessica, and these are really sharp, so I'm sure. kind of nervous about it. Well, good luck getting it all the way over here. It's a long space, but I know you can do it. I, I think I'm going to do it well. I think you're going to do it well. I'm going to do your stance. How's well, that? How's that? That was not bad. Cat? Well, congratulations. Oh, yeah. That's good. Ben, we need to talk, Ben. Okay, I'll admit, I was really overconfident about the dart thing. So that was a real disappointment. All right, Ben, you think you got me? You yeah, I do. Me? Now, Jessica, I don't have anything personal against you. This is a competition after all. And <laughs> actually scared me. Ooh, this game, 
no, no, no. I, those things can poke you and mm -mm, not for me. All right, Carol, you think you got this? Did I win the last challenge against you? Well, okay, I think that was a fluke. That was a technicality by the producers. I don't know what fluke means, but I think it means I was pretty good. Well, this is going to be a fluke, so let's see. Do you have any chips? Do you just need to arc it? I think that, oh, arc yeah. it, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was pretty neat. Yeah, that was I got good. some. I think, I don't know. That was so fun, guys. Yeah. It was so really fun. fun. Okay, I had six. I think I have six, too. Oh, good job, you yeah, guys. You two yeah, you two tied. I have eight. Wow, yeah. Eight, eight sure is a lot. Yeah, it but, is a lot. Yeah, but I have 11. Way to go. Yeah. Way to go, Ben. Look at that. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. It's like y'all are trying to hand me the competition. I mean, come on. It's simple math. All you have to do is factor in gravity, the weight of the darts, and all that. I did almost hit Jessica, so there was that. Our second competition is called the Roomba Dome. As you can see, your representative is now in an arena with an armed and dangerous Roomba. Knives? What? Finally, we get knives involved, some weaponry. We will turn on the Roomba, stand back, and see who the last representative standing is. Let's go, little blue guy. You got this, stay strong. If it gets loose, run. I don't know what it's gonna do. I've got one of these at home, it's pretty spicy. Do you do you put the knives on it at home? Only sometimes. No, 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 Who knew vacuuming could be so extreme? That's a bummer! strategy. I love your strategy. Yes, yes. Okay, I had my suspicions about this show. But when I saw the knives on that Roomba, I realized, yeah, the production value of this isn't isn't all there. And I don't think that's ethical for them to do that to robots. Here we Staying go. out of Here the way. Staying out of the way. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Big blue. Not toward me. Not toward me. It doesn't like. Come on. I won that one, but I can't take any credit. It was just my balloon was a little crafty. My family's gonna have a heyday with the only win I have, not even having anything to do with my own skill, but me yelling at a rubber balloon for three to five minutes. It is time for our second final challenge. This week, we have Erica versus Ben. This competition is brought to you by science. Limonene, which can be found in orange peels, is known to pop a balloon. Whoever's balloon withstands limonene the longest will be our big winner for today. So without further ado, let's get going. Three, two, one. Oh. Now, but. I hope this doesn't uh, ruin our uh, uh, teamwork, our uh, alliance or whatever. What do you mean by that? Oh, well, you know, when I win, I don't want you to be salty about it. Oh yeah, and sorry about not actually giving you the immunity idol. I lost it. Wait, what? There's no immunity piece? Oh. Well, I mean, I had it, but I, I think someone just took it from me. Bart, in the I'm dressing really, room. Yeah. I'm really starting to question you, Bart. Looks like I'm gonna have to win this one on my own. I don't know. Yours is looking a little structurally oh. unsure. Don't you worry. <sighs> and that's where it's at. I'm a little over the Ben wins. It's happening too often. I really wish someone would kidnap that guy. So this game is absolutely fascinating. So, so many people think it's the citric acid that's in the orange that's causing the reaction, but it's actually this isopolymer called 1-methyl. Well, there you have it. Ben is our second champion on The Great Invitation. How does it feel to be a winner? Well, there are so many people that I want to thank, like my mom and my... Oh, that means we are out of time for this week. See you all next week right here on... The, the Great, Great Invitation! Invitation!